let's hope there's enough space on this memory card because that'll be fun hi guys and welcome back so today i'm filming a mahoosive primark haul for you guys i went shopping and i kind of went a little bit mad i think it's because i haven't been for a little while and my last one was quite small so when i got in there there was just loads of stuff that i was looking at and loads of stuff that i wanted um, so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Primark and then I picked up one or two bits from I think it was B&M so I'll just throw them in at the end because it's not enough to really do a full video so hold on for that or skip it if you wish. I did three bags worth of damage so some are more full than others so hopefully we'll get through it. Um, I don't know where to start. I'm going to start with an outfit that my boyfriend actually picked me up which I know is a bit random but he was out shopping and he was just having a look around and he always goes and has a look for me bless him and he picked me up these trousers now i don't usually wear stuff like this but i keep telling him that i want to wear something other than leggings other than jeans i'm bored of them and i had a struggle with like length of my legs because i'm quite tall um so he actually picked me these up and he said oh maybe you could wear them out for valentine's day which i just thought was such a sweet gesture he saw them on the mannequin and thought oh they would look really nice he said on me but yeah he picked those up and i think those were see those were £10 so I really like the print actually although it's still quite loud it's not too loud because it has the black um, and sort of the light colours so I think that was they were really really nice and then this is the top that he picked me up to go with it this like I said this was on the mannequin and it is this bardo style top which obviously I love bardo and I do wear a lot of black so um, and it has these bell flare sleeves and yeah it's just a pretty simple top so i think like he had the right idea with going for something simple on the top if you're going for something loud on the bottom thanks to the idea of primark may i add yeah i really like that actually and that was eight pound so yeah a really nice little outfit there that i didn't expect the next thing i picked up was this sports bra now i really 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 loved this when i saw it on the hanger obviously it has this really nice you know racer cross back detailing and the print on this is just lovely it's slightly padded but they can be removed and it obviously has this bit that goes round sort of middle and it's just a really nice floral pattern however when I tried this on this really isn't very supportive um, I don't think I could wear this every day let alone for the gym which I'm absolutely gutted about it does only say medium support but I don't me personally don't even think I would get um, medium support from that so that is in fact going back and that was eight pounds I also picked up another gym top just to go with it because I thought it might show at the sides but however it didn't it uh, covered the bra completely but I'm still going to keep this top because it is just like one of these nice light sort of gym tops um, I don't know what material they call it but the like the lightweight sort of sweat resistant or whatever it is fabric and this was only £3.50 which I really think is amazing I don't think you can go wrong with Primark's um, workout things because the thing is it's so expensive now to buy Nike and Adidas when you essentially you're just going to sweat and you're going to get sort of dirty so you you know it really doesn't make much of a difference if you're not like a brand snob so I don't get me wrong I do have branded things that I wear but I think when you can I just think this is just a simplistic item that you can just wear to the gym no problem and like I said that was only £3.50 so you could just buy multiple I then just picked up some simple tees just the slouchy tees actually I picked up a black one I went up at a size or two actually because I can be like a 10 to 12 but because I have a sort of bigger bust sometimes like things that are supposed to be baggy are not very baggy on me so sometimes I do upsize and then upsize again these were only £2 though and I just think for every day with a nice pair of jeans or something like that I just think these are ideal I got it in this colour also sort of this dusty pink colour because I thought that would be quite nice for the summer although I always pick up colours like this and never wear them but I'm really going to try and bust out of my comfort zone and I also picked up a grey one the next thing I picked up I'm really really not sure about now I have an image in my mind that this is going to be nice with a pair of jeans, a pair of sandals, a nice sort of beige bag or something along those lines however it's either going to look really nice or it's going to look a little bit frumpy now it's just this white top, white plain t-shirt but it has this really nice sort of, um, is it crochet detailing across the back and the shoulders and I just thought with a nice pair of light jeans, some sandals and a nice bag I thought this would look really really nice but 
it's either gonna like I say gonna look really nice or it's gonna look a little bit old-fashioned so I'm gonna try it anyway this was only four pounds and these these were all folded up on the shelf next thing I picked up was like 500 pairs of leggings no, I'm joking um, I picked up about three or four pairs of things just like her leggings now I know these can be a bit see-through um, but I tend to always wear these with something that covers my bottom anyway, so it's only on the leg that you really see it. These in a 12. Now, the thing is, the 12 fits me until I've worn them for a little while, and then they get too big, but I feel a bit uncomfortable in the 10, so it's so frustrating, I'm like between sizes almost. But I am regularly like a 10, sometimes a 12, depending on the fit, but I just picked up a 12 in these, but these are really really comfortable they're viscose but they're extra long and that's why i really really love them because i really struggle to find leggings that are long enough and they do short regular long and extra long and i think that's perfect because it's not one size fits all when it comes to trousers unfortunately these but the, the most amazing thing these were two pound 80 now I think these used to be like five pounds in um, Primark. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure they did. I'm sure I used to pay that much for them, but they're like two pound eighty now. So I just picked up like four pairs because I do love a legging. I love to lounge in leggings. The next thing I got was just a plain cropped hoodie, basically. And I don't really do cropped because, like I've said before, I don't really like my belly. But I just really couldn't resist this one. I don't know why it's got fluff over it. But it's just plain black, and it has these like white tie detailing and like drawstring and I just really liked it it was just a really soft material and it was seven pounds and I just thought this is ideal for the gym like you know when you come out you want to try and keep the heat in but you don't necessarily want to put on a really thick hoodie I just thought oh this is really perfect or even just for lounging around so I just couldn't not not wear it really more leggings more leggings <laughs> um, another thing that I picked up which I couldn't believe the price of was I think this is like a jumper dress or on me it's more like a longer top but I think if you're a bit shorter you could get away with it it's just this sort of long t-shirt style sort of jumper dress it has this really nice detailing on the back you'll probably be able to see it better on when I try it on it's coming up a little bit brighter on camera than it is in person it's more of a muted color um, but on camera it's coming up really really bright but I can assure you it's not that bright and this was literally like I think this was five pounds and I just thought on one of them days where you just not you know you just want a comfortable day or you've just got a few things to do and you know it's not a dressy day I just think that's so perfect I mean it is thin and it's a very lightweight but it, hopefully spring will be here soon so it won't matter but I just thought it's really couldn't leave it there for that price. I also forgot to mention the cardigan that I'm wearing actually. I also got this from Primark. It is just this sort of biscuit colour or is it beige kind of cardigan. It has the tassel detailings all along the bottom. I did a try on so you should be able to see it. And it has these sort of, are they called bubble sleeves? I'm not really sure but the, the baggy sleeves. And it is just really cosy and nice. And I think it's perfect for this weather because it's not warm enough to start wearing like summery tops and things but if you wear like a simple top with like a nice cardigan over the top and your coat then you should maybe just get away with it also this is a bit later in the day so if I look a bit different that's why I forgot to mention that I picked up some really nice underwear as it is Valentine's this month so I picked up firstly it was this I don't know if you can see it that well on camera but it is just this are they called basque I'm not really sure but it's like this sort of satin material and it has like this really nice sort of detailing over like stitching and stuff like that. It is the one that sort of opens in the middle and it has all these hook and eyes which are a bit of a challenge to put on I guess but I think it just it's really flattering on and yeah so I really liked it and that was £12 so obviously I'm not going to try this on but I just wanted to show you. Now the underwear that I got with those wasn't actually the underwear that came with like the set. I accidentally picked up another pair, um, but unfortunately I haven't got them here to show you. Um, but I have got another set that I picked up, and it is is this one. Now I just think this one is really really beautiful. I think it looks so like much more expensive than Primark. It has this really pretty beautiful like detailing on on the front and it has the like lace around the not lace but like crochet slash lace around the mid part and then there's this really nice corset style mid bit and I just think this is so classy 
it's really flattering on and yeah I just really really love that and again I think that was about £12 but I haven't got the label on it unfortunately I did pick up the underwear but I picked up in the wrong size it's huge it's really too big for me as you can tell they I don't know why I didn't notice um, it's because when they're on the hanger they're all folded and they were on the wrong hanger so but as you can see they're really pretty as well they match lovely but these are never going to fit me I think these are 14 to 16 um, and I needed obviously a 10 to 12 so I'm hopefully you can't exchange them but hopefully I will be able just to go and pick up another pair if they've still got them in stock I officially have a problem I'm not going to lie I am addicted to buying sandals and I literally buy so many pretty sandals and then I end up wearing like two pairs the whole summer and all the rest are like in a nice storage box under my bed I need to stop because I need to get some use out of these sandals um, the first ones I saw were these ones, I just think they're so pretty, I don't often go for white sandals because, I don't know, I just they're not my favourite colour to go for, but with the right thing, and especially if you've got a nice tan, they are really really beautiful, and I remember I had a pair before that I lent to a friend, and I unfortunately didn't get them back, so I just thought I'll give them another go, um, these were only £6, now I just think they're so nice, I mean there's grip on the bottom, and they're like, they just look really like more expensive than what they are. I believe that's like a rosy gold, coppery kind of colour on the top and they're just the T-bar, the standard T-bars. But I just think the attention to detail, like the little silver around the heel, uh, silver, the little rose gold around the heel is just really, really, really nice. So I picked those up and then I saw them in nude. Now, you all know that I have a problem with buying everything in nude or rose gold, so of course these were going to be put straight in. Again, these were £6, and nude goes with everything. I'm constantly in nude, so I thought I'd pick these up. And again, I think they're like a rose gold, so yeah, just really pretty, so hopefully I'll get some use out of those. Just need some sun now, really. I actually saw somebody haul these, actually, and I... I went and had a little look and I couldn't realize so when I got there I was thinking I'm not really sure if they're my sort of thing but when I tried them on they actually looked really really nice now these are better on than they do off in my opinion they are like these black gladiator style like slip-ons and they have obviously the pearl detailing on them they were six pound also um, but they just look so much better on than they do off and obviously now I have a black pair a nude pair and a white pair so I can't really complain that I don't have anything that goes but yeah, so I just really, really like those. They're, and they're quite comfortable too. I, well, I didn't pick this up. I picked this up, right? This is a throw and it is a Bambi throw. And you might remember from a haul a little while ago that I had a Bambi throw. And so I put this down, I was like, but it's grey and it's lilac. But I put it down, I resisted. And somehow, thanks to my lovely boyfriend, this ended up back in my basket. And I think that's because he knows how much I love Bambi and I really wanted it but I was trying to resist so he ended up getting this for me. I don't need it but I just, I think these are always so handy when it's a bit chilly and things like that so I haven't even opened the other one yet though, it's still in my wardrobe but there will come a time and this was £6. I also saw Primark's new range of makeup so the, I didn't actually look properly at everything that they had, I kind of saw this and thought oh this was the thing that I really really wanted and like from everything that was there I probably will pick up more but I just think for this was six pound and I just think this is absolutely amazing now if you're somebody who's starting out or just interested in makeup or just want a little play about in a palette that's not so expensive obviously Urban Decay is like 39 whatever they are and I just think this is absolutely ideal really this was only six pounds and I mean you've got pretty much enough to play with especially on the neutral side of things and I just think and it does actually I think it does smell like chocolate, I believe. Um, I'm not the strongest with scents, plus I have a bit of a cold. But yeah, and it's just the packaging and everything. I think Primark have done so well. I think this is really, really amazing. So I can't wait to have a little bit of a play about with that. <sighs> this is a long haul. I picked up some cotton pads because who doesn't need cotton pads and they're only 50p. They've gone down. That's amazing. So I picked up, I think there was just one homeware item and it was this beautiful, beautiful candle. Now hopefully you can see how beautiful that is, but it's just this white, like, muted, in like mason jar, sorry, that's the one. And it is just vanilla, but this just smells amazing. Like, it's the best vanilla I've smelled, but not only that, the packaging is just phenomenal and I wish I'd picked up more of these actually 
This was only £5 and they did pink and other colours. But I just absolutely love this. I just think this is so beautiful. And I'm just going to leave it there for now, as I always do with something that I like. I picked up a few pieces of jewellery, so I'm just going to get straight into that. Um, I picked up this. This is just three different chains. Hopefully you can see the sun's decided to come out. This is just three different chains, and I believe that they are on just the one um, like chain. I'm not a big fan of this being green, but I did figure that as it's around the back of your neck, you probably won't be able to see it. So I picked this up because I really like layering or the look of layered jewellery. So this was £3 and I picked that up. I just think that would look really nice for summer. Then saw this and this was featured Lucy Jessica Carter's uh, channel. And I really, really straight away, as soon as she held it up, I really liked the detail on this. I just think maybe with something like I'm wearing today, like where it can just really jazz up a little outfit. And it is really long and it's really pretty and it is just this gold detail I hope you can see because and obviously this bit just goes all the way down this was three pounds and again I just think that looks so much more expensive than it actually is and I really really like that and then these were just hanging around on top of one of the displays and I just decided they were two pounds and I thought oh do you know what layered up with a nice watch they're just these bangles if you can see hopefully um and I thought, I laid up with a nice watch and some jewellery. I thought they'd be really nice. And when I got to the till, they come up 50p. Now I love it when that happens because it doesn't happen very often. So I was just really chuffed with that. And I thought, oh, what a bargain. Now, I may have done something I shouldn't have done. I picked up not one, not two, but three new bags. Does anybody need three bags? No, they don't. But I did it anyway. And firstly, I got this bag. <laughs> Now, I only hauled a bag not so long ago that was nude, and I really loved it, actually. But I see this one, and I thought, do you know what? That would go with so many outfits. I mean, you've got black, brown, and nude. Now, what, you know, that is just so neutral, and it's so diverse that you could just wear it with anything. And it also has this really beautiful gold chain on it. And I just thought, like, I just couldn't resist it, basically. It just kind of went straight in my basket, even though it shouldn't have. And, yeah, that was £8.00. And it is just nude that side, black and all the other edges. And I just thought it was so nice. So yeah, I picked up that one first. Then I picked up this bag. Now this bag is just for work basically. Because I basically, I work in a nursery. And I basically just take my Michael Kors bag with all my stuff in it. And it's kind of like, I don't really want to take that to work anymore. And also, I have folders that I have to bring to and from work. So I, need to, I would r rather have something that fits everything rather than having to have like two separate bags and things like that. Um, life story. So I bought this bag. It's just a really simplistic sort of, I think that's cream, is it? Cream and black. And it has these brown handles. I just thought it looked a bit more expensive than it is. And yeah, it has this weird like gold thing on it for like a tablet and it was just in the pocket if I can show you. My preference I just wouldn't have that that's why I put it inside but yeah it was sort of a nice sort of simple bag for work have wee bits in it and then it'll fit my profiles in it too and that was £10 so really nice big size bucket bag basically. And then I saw this and I put it in my basket, even though I already had two bags. And I thought, you know what, yeah, because I've got all that space. I've got so much space. As you'll see from my room tour, I don't. But yeah, so I picked this up anyway. And it is just this plain black, sort of really soft, like, I take it that it's pleather. But and it has a really nice gold detailing on it. And it gave me, like, YSL vibes. I'm not sure why. I think it's because of this sort of, like, oh, what's it called? quilted detailing but you know what I thought when I don't want to take a big sort of statement bag out it's just handy just to throw over your shoulder and you haven't got to carry around like a big Michael Kors bag or something like that so yeah I did pick that up and that was eight pounds and breathe and that was everything that I picked up from Primark uh, like I said it was quite a trip but I picked up quite a lot of bits and bobs I absolutely love everything that I picked up and yeah so now I'm going to jump into I got two things from B&M so that's why I'm not going to do a haul one of them was this little mug now you might you guys might know how desperate I was to get my hands on the Primark one I ended up having to buy it off of eBay and then I saw him in B&M and I just thought why well, why not get him a brother why not start a collection of everyone's different chip mugs um so I picked him up and he was 3.99 and I just thought how sweet is he 
and then randomly this didn't come like this i had to blow this up it came in a little packet but the little straw <laughs> i got this now <laughs> I don't know why I just thought rose gold and it says love and it's Valentine's Day and I thought maybe I could have it somewhere in my video or just something fun really so I did pick this up I think this was only a couple of pounds but yeah so I got that as well that is everything that I got from Primark and I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think was the best thing that I picked up because I love hearing from you in the comments below if you like my videos please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one so take care guys bye